welcome to a freshly out of the shower Thomas for your Saturday night market watch. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, enough fooling around. Thomas from Team Soccer also here coming with you, duh, on Market Watch. But a few quick announcements before that. Uh, first of all, thank you for 500 subscribers. I do have a 500 sub special coming up. I have uh, one of my favorite sets coming in next week, a really cool older box that I think you guys will enjoy. And speaking of openings, I have a OTS 12 opening that I uploaded about a day ago. A lot of you guys really like that. But if you haven't checked it out, please do and leave a like because those packs are very hard to get. It I got like 30 packs of OTS-12. Might be getting 30 more if that video receives a lot of likes. Uh, and with that being said, uh, if you want me to go over any cards, please leave them in the comment section below. There is a high chance I will go over it, just like this card over here. And if you want to support the channel in any way and use TCG Player, please use my affiliate link in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. And thank you to those who do help me. Out. Also, I haven't seen as good reception on these. This why I'm not doing as much uh, market watches. I know someone asked me that question, I believe. Uh, that's why I haven't seen as many likes, views, and comments and all that. So I was like, you know, maybe I won't do them as much. So if you have any criticism, please send it my way. And if you are enjoying the video, please give me a like, subscribe, all that jazz. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get right into it. So Majestic Star Dragon, Ghost Rare, coming out of Stardust Overdrive. Uh, we have Lightly Plates here for $30. Honestly, I expected a lot worse out of this old set. Uh, near Mints, 50. Eh. And then, you know, again, this is what I expect. But then we have Mod Play, 140. You know, I expected a lot worse again. And then you have Light Plays here for 285. So that's a lot of money. Honestly, I kind of expected First Eds to be around somewhere around this range. Um, someone wanted me to tell, uh, look at this. I don't think this is worth it, however, to invest in right now. And I'm going to explain why. So Shooting Star Dragon is a $140 Ghost Rare. I covered it in multiple market watches. Uh, and that card has at least seen play, unlike Majestic Star Dragon. Now, most people don't really have a strategy with this card. Unlike Shooting Star, where it comes uh, on the field, I believe, if you destroy a certain card. Um, I forgot what it was. And then... It also cut is more easier to make. There's Dexter and all around that card, Quasar and Stardust, right? Along with it looks a lot more cooler, and it's half the price of this. So if you can get a light play for this, you can get a near mint first ed um, shooting star, and you can get two of them. Obviously, this card is going to go up. Uh, that I'm not debating that. However, same with shooting star. It's just that's a way better pick because it's a lot more bang for your buck. And if you decide to put in the money to get two of those, eventually when uh, ghost rares are worth a lot of money, you can easily probably sell one of those shooting stars and get yourself a majestic star dragon. So that's just my advice here. And if shooting star dragon gets bought out first before this card, just like all the other ghost rares, let's say shooting star doubles or triples, right? And you already had your two copies of a first ed, right? You could sell one of those, then come over here and grab one of these. So just managing your money a lot better, along with, I believe the ulti is a very good choice here. I'm going to go over the ulti and I'm explain why. So a light play for $8, even though unlimited, that is way cheaper than I think any other, you know, big dragon from 5Ds that at least comes to mind right now. Um, You know, light plays, you know, $8 and then... How much is a near mint here? Uh, first set's for 50, but there's only two on the market. That goes to 155. This is an iconic card, and when people can't get the ghost rare, they're going to want to go grab ultis, right? Along with, there's people who want one of each rarity. You get the point. $50 for this ulti is a lot better, I believe, than the ghost rare. And just by buy, if plus, hey, if you buy one and then some other dude's like, oh, one more light play first set copy, I want that, or unless you buy two. Um, this card goes up to 150 on this site. Um, obviously, maybe on eBay and other sites, it's a, it'll be a little cheaper, but this card, it has very limited quantities, so definitely look into it. Um, that's I would rather grab the ulti. Very beautiful card. I really do love how the ulti looks. Ash Blossom, Joy Spring, all versions are going up, but we're going to go over secrets first. I got my playset for 180 cash, and... Uh, they were 240 at the time, so we have near mints here at 41 dollars. Where first eds were 40, and then they dropped to like 30, so they're about 30 to 40 dollars for a first ed, and then a first ed here is 65, 67 dollars for near mints. Um, wow. So I'm not surprised at this. It's an original. It's probably the one of the best, if not the best, hand trap in the game, alongside you know infinite impermanence, Valor. 
uh, and all, you know, Ogre and all that stuff. So I'm not surprised it's reaching this price. It's really good against any strategy as well. Uh, you know, every deck basically searches. Every deck... <sighs> Bless me. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, every deck, well, not every deck, but a lot of decks special summon from the deck. And every card, almost every deck, has some type of foolish burial. Um, every deck will have one of these effects that you can interrupt. It's probably one of the ver most versatile hand traps in the game. Um, if you want secrets, I pull the trigger. However, when they were 30s, I believe that's when you should pick them up. Also, ulti when uh, I was really disappointed in OTS 13. I have a video on that if you want to go check it out. But Ash Blossom was not an ulti, and that makes me really sad. Like, honestly. But anyway, so we have a ultra here for 1161. That's actually really cheap because it slowly goes to 14, 15 dollars for a near mint, and these were about seven, eight bucks. So these all are close to doubling. Twelve listings too. Uh, super tier nine listings. Uh, you know, 950 going up to 10. Dual power 10. Uh, feet 10. A lot of people got these at five, 550, and if you did, hey, you won. And uh, just to let you know, if you find dual devastators at Walmart or you find them online for cheap, like $25, definitely a good choice to grab them. Uh, and then, you know, you even have commons here for $10, which I don't know why you'd buy the common when you could literally buy any other version, which is better. Um, I have Kaiba's, Supers, uh, yeah, I have Kaiba's, Supers, and Secrets because these were like the first three printings of it as well. Secret, Ultra, then Super. And then, you know, I think it got dual, uh, I don't know if the common or the dual power one came first. I think the common came fourth. Yeah, the common came fourth, but by that, I already have my three play sets, so, you know. Um, hopefully you have your Ash Blossoms, but honestly, the alternate art, I would definitely pick up. Uh, if not right, Abyss Dwellers, this became an ulti in OTS 13, so I want to look at Every version was worth a dollar, so I didn't want to really go over those, but a first end near mint for two dollars really isn't too bad, it's a, it's probably one of the best going first rank fours, and I do think it's one of the best rank fours in the game, especially the generic ones, so, you know, uh, two dollars, then we have Diabolos, King of the Abyss, uh, this card, you know, old secret from Force of the Breaker, this card cannot be special, and if you tribute this card, tributes must be dark, so, you know, Good luck having this on the field. This card cannot be tributed by a card effect either. So, during your opponent's draw phase, before they draw, look at the top card of their deck, then put that card on the top or bottom of their deck. So, you know, I guess if they draw something sacky or one of their good one ofs, boom, put it at the bottom. Like, you know, one for one or really anything. So, we have lightly plates here for about $11. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we have a damage tier for $11.50. Uh, how much is a... Hmm. We're going to see how much a first ed here. TCG player? You want to cooperate? Okay. Don't know what that was. Uh, near, uh, you know, near mints. And then we have a near mint first ed here for 47. And we only have one on the market. Old secret rare. So if you want to pull a vintage values and get this, go for it. Just remember to put the tin foil hat on your head before you do. <sighs> Uh, King of Skull, Skull Servants, someone asked, said that they were going to pull the trigger and get this because they really love Skull Servants, and they'd rather have one right now than never. Uh, so, $50, honestly, with Speed Duel tournament packs, um, I've learned something. And that is, when these cards come out is the best time to buy these because they're just going to get bought out to some ridiculous price, and that, to me, is just absolutely insane. Um, you know, we've seen this in tournament pack one as well. So these cards just, they don't have a consistent quantity. They struggle with that. And I completely know why, but then you have $5 here for these speed dual versions. Not too bad. I don't know what the difference is between this one. I bet this one's more shiny, but if they're not, then I don't know. Uh, then you have co uh, comments here, dark revelations, about $2. Cause it's dark revelations. Everyone wants to buy out that damn set. Also, if I stutter or if I mispronounce something or I seem a little slow, I'm a little bit tired. And I take hot showers. So, you know, that get, they get me sleepy. So, uh, about a dollar on this. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, then we have Megalos here. Uh, someone want me to look at high rarity water. It was Mage of Agents, by the way. So, go check him out. Really awesome guy. 
uh, does some good content. He hit about 700 subscribers recently, and I'm pretty proud of him. So, Megalos here. We're going to go over these real quickly. I have a few other of the Mermails uh, tapped up. So, we have Lightly Plates here. $31, but I won't get these because you can get first sets for like $34. Uh, honestly, I think that's a really good price. It's a old school secret rare. Uh, first printing, highest rarity. Looks really, really nice. Like, man, do I love these. And, you know, $34, definitely worth it. However, when we get to the other shit here, um, I, I start disagreeing. So, Ulti Abistius, uh, you have lightly plates here for 41 which isn't too bad. Because it slowly goes up to a $60 card for Near Mint. Uh, you save about, you know, 33% if you get the lightly played, honestly. I mean, honestly, lightly played in TCG player could be anything. They could actually be lightly played and just completely fine. <laughs> Sometimes they could just be half chewed on. Uh, it, it doesn't even depend on seller. It just depends on luck at this point. But, yeah, I'm just joshing, by the way. But, yeah, lightly played for 41, then 60. That's way more than I would pay for it. I don't think that's really worth it. Uh, Ulti Abyss Gaios, this is a great card, however, it's very inflated right now. These just be like 5 to $10, and now you have Unlimited for 40 and then you have First Eds for 46 Well, you have one Near Mint for 46 Lightly Plates here for same amount. 46 $50. Honestly, the thing about all this Mermail stuff and all these uh, Atlantean support that I'm going to go over, I do have Atlanteans on another tab, is... About 30% of the people playing this it had high rarity of this already, and a larger percent had a partially high rarity version of this. Like, yeah, maybe they didn't have, you know, the Secret Megalos or the Ulti Abyssus. Maybe they just had Ultras from Cosmo Blazer. But they may have had an Ulti of this or the Super Atlanteans from Astral Packs, you know. So keep that in mind. Uh, that a lot of the players here really did have this before the price spikes. A lot of people have a lot of. Um, Hope, and they really want to play Water in Master Rule 5. I don't know why, but it is a good deck. I've seen what it can do, so, you know, again, I won't get this. And then, here's the thing that disgusts me. Again, Solo Printing, Abyss Rising. I'm not surprised this happened one day, but, like, it's disgusting to see regardless. $30. No, no, thank you. That is about $20 more than I would pay for it. Uh, and then, just to go over the other Mermails... Uh, she's about eight nine dollars near mint. Ulti's here for twelve unlimited. Uh, let, let's see. Let, I'm just just see how much a first dead is. You know what? Oh, okay. So lightly plates here for about fifteen. Near mint for about close to nineteen. Honestly, that's not bad. I'm okay with that. You know, old ulti. Uh, and then you know, even the supers like Pike. Five six dollars. I, I I guess they play her in the new build. It's been a while since I've really caught up on Mermail. Uh, and then this is by the way, this is the version I would play. Uh, these used to be like thirteen dollars a long time ago before it got reprinted. Shadows of Valhalla. Um, I, I I want I want to play commons of these. I would not want to play the supers. I actually hate the supers. I'd rather get the common or the secret. Two dollars, dollar probably two for a first ed. The links even a dollar and oh and then this this meme. Right over here. Uh, the, you, you, they don't play this, but honestly, this is a cute card. I, uh, how much is a first set of these boys? Uh, five bucks. I kind of want one. I don't know why, but I kind of do. He looks really cool. Kind of looks like something out of Timefall. Uh, but then, ulti uh, Atlantean. So, 130 on the Dragoons. So, I'm not shocked at this at all. Honestly, um, here's the thing though: is this got reprinted uh, because they redistributed Astral Packs one and two for a Thanksgiving event, and most I think it was only OTS stores that got them. I believe I may be wrong. However, uh, this put a lot more in the market, and then they dropped a lot. This is just a lot, you know. There was a big window to get them at sixty dollars, which I actually did. I was able to secure, I believe, two of them. However. I was not able to get a third. So if I did want a third, I'd have to pay this price. I'm not paying this price. Um, I probably would get just get rid of them, honestly. Marksman, I think that this isn't bad. $43. Uh, you play one of these, uh, possibly two. And some people may even play none. 
However, $42 for this isn't too bad. 12 listings, I see it going up. If you want a little bit of high rarity or you kind of want to get into it eventually, th this is where I would start. Um, honestly, this is a big problem in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is that uh, is uh, structured decks really need to get reprints. Um, this do Dragoons doesn't have another reprint besides the ulti, and Supers being $10 is, for the better words, just ridiculous. Um, it's insane. And honestly, I, I, I don't think this deserves to be $10. This needs to get a reprint. And you could look at the zombie structure deck, uh, you know, and then you could look at the dinosaur structure deck, right, where you have, you know, raid raptors and all that other stuff, like $10. Um, yeah, yeah, you just have, it's just, I don't really know what to say about it. Ah, uh, this, this just upsets me. Uh, then you have ulti infantry, this used to be like a dollar or two, ten dollars even commons are worth money. Man, this is just so inflated. Uh, Marksman's... Oh my god, even for a common... Neptibus got a reprint, so it's a lot more accessible. So, you know, $3. $3, you know, not not too bad. And then, yeah. Overall, if you want to get into water, you're, you're, you're literally paying a car payment. So, have fun with that. Uh, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Now, someone wanted me to look over this, uh, because it got bought out, and I saw it, and it looked absolutely ridiculous, so, you have, oh, ooh, cool, Italian. Uh, first set near mids here for about $48. That is way more than I would pay for it, honestly. I think that's ridiculous. N the near mid version here, $7. I'd grab this. Honestly, let's see how Italian looks. I, I think this is a, really, honestly, a steal. I could see this getting resold for 30 you know, it looks good. Here's the issue, though, is it's warped. It's still near mint. Honestly, you could just get this and unwarp it. I, I've unwarped cards before, you know. This is this is ridiculous. Honestly, if it says blue eyes in it, it's always worth money, and I just kind of hate that rule. Red Eyes Beat Dragon from Power of Chaos. Joey the Passion got bought out. $230. Honestly, no. Like, literally, if it has red eyes in the name, it just gets bought out. And that's just, to me, that's just so stupid. <sighs> just, literally, just get any other version. Red eyes, baby dragon. Legendary duelist. Like I said, has red eyes, gets bought out. $40, 45 It's probably going to get a reprint. When we get, because we are getting legendary duelist reprints very soon. I, the set's eluding me, but I'm pretty sure someone will correct me in the comment section below. Uh, so I would not grab this card at all. It's not worth it. I, I don't know where this bot buyout came from. It, it's just stupid, like honestly. But if you want them, they were ten dollars. Again, people that are collectors and they do keep up with the game somewhat. Got this at a ten fifteen dollar card, you know what I mean? Collectors don't spend even half the value they do on cards because they get them right at prime time. They know how to. So, rescue cats, uh, kind of got a little buyout. Uh, super rares, thirty eight dollars. Uh, for a trip pack. Then you have DUSA, four dollars. Again, Marefair's coming out. Marefair uses this card. You have commons here. Lightly played two and a half. I kind of like the Turbo Pack Commons as well, by the way. I don't know what's about them, but I really do like them. I actually sold my Rescue Cats recently. My Commons, not my Super. Uh, and then, yeah. Every every version's worth money, honestly. But this is the Turbo Pack version. It's an older set. Uh, yeah, you have a place it here for 38 if you want to snag it. And then, you know, not too many quantities left. Uh, I got this card at $15 because this used to be one of my favorite... Because it used to be banned. One of my favorite banned cards of all time. Uh, and it is one of my favorite cards. I just... This is one of the first rescue cards. I really do love the rescues as just cards. Like what they do for the game. Even the bad ones are still kind of good. So... Yeah. Uh, Trickstars got a little buyout. And I was like, okay, what the hell. Uh, $38. Seven listings. This was way worse before, by the way. Uh, I saw one for 38 than 50 Uh... Looks like it's stabilizing at $40. It is OTS 9, so it is pretty old. I think that's 2018, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, man, OTS 12 feels like it was so long ago. Even OTS 11. 
Uh, yeah. Um, I got mine at about $18. I knew they were going to go down, but I really wanted them. I was like, hey, it's cheap. You know, they're going to get bought out eventually because, you know, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! community, uh, community and, you know, pfft, this happened. Honestly, I don't think this is worth keeping on to them for this price point, personally, for a archetype-specific card that... I'm being honest with you. I think people are going to forget about Trick Stars in the future, most likely. I don't think this is worth it, personally. Then we have Candina's. This card was a $5-$6 card for a while. However, it hasn't gotten a reprint. Savage Strike is slowly becoming Star Strike Blast for some damn reason, except for Phantasme. And I think there was one other card printed in it. I completely forgot what it was, but... You know, uh, near mid first sets are... Let's see how much these are. $13. Not too bad. Um, honestly, this is just not on Konami's radar. It was short print in this set. I do remember actually ha uh, needing a copy of this card because the day after Savage Strike came out, um, it was YC at Chicago, and I needed this. I got to round 9, and then I won X3 at round 9. So, that's still pretty good, but it's not worth the top, you know. Reincarnations. Yeah, he first had lightly played here for $9. Then how much is a first set version here? $9, $10. All right, birds, can you please shut up? Again, it's late. Uh, so, yeah. Then you have a very cool little investment here. Trickstar Crimson Heart, jump versions, dollar. Uh, might be worth it to pick it up, you know. Just hold on to a couple of these for a few, you know, buy a place or two. Wait a couple years. Look at this being expensive for no reason. Uh, and then you, man, you have light stages here for dollars. Like, the rest of this is pretty... Pretty nothing. I mean, look at his supers for a dollar, huh? Finally hit the dollar mark. I I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Uh, Instant Fusion ultis. This is the cheapest it's going to get. If you want an ulti Instant Fusion or you want it for a while, this is the time to pick it up. I spent enough money on Yu-Gi-Oh! this month that to a point where I am not getting this card. If it is still this card, this value, in maybe three weeks, I'll probably get one. Uh, but I'm telling you guys before something happens, this will hit 100 again. This is a comfortable for a one of and being it being Insta Fusion. Um, this is a good collector card. If even if it got banned somehow, because I know a lot of people are probably gonna ask me that, I see it dipping a bit and then going right back up. Um, DTs four dollars and then every other version, you know, dollar. These look beautiful. I actually had a bunch of these and then I sold them for like eight nine dollars pop. Four, four, two, three dollars. I mean, I don't think anyone's getting a uh, hmm, Cyber Dark Impact for 30 cents. That's kind of good. I'm not shocked at this, by the way, because, you know, this got reprinted in the structure deck. So, comments aren't really worth too much money. Personally, I'd grab a super rare for a dollar, possibly, maybe DT. I mean, it's a one of, so I'd grab a higher rarity. But, yeah, ulti infusions. I'd pick them up. Secret Slayers, uh, First Ed's, 110. I also want to stop the video really quickly and let you guys know. Again, you want me to go over any cards? I would love to. Uh, also, let me know about any buyouts. Maybe I'll go over them. And if you made it this far over the video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, $63 for Researcher. People like to say this deck's expensive. I'm going to be one to play a competitive build on it because there's so many different types of builds. Uh, especially with, like, um... The one with normal monsters where it would uh, die. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I have it over here. Unexpected die. Um, there's bills like that that cost a bit more money. But for the core of Ad Emancipators, uh, it's very, very cheap, honestly. Because once you get this card, yes, it is expensive, but this is a tier 1 deck. For $63, right? You get your playset, so 180 Maybe you get cheaper off a friend, 150 140 Uh, Every other deck card in the deck... Is like two dollars or less, besides like signs, right? So this is like if you can, if you want to bite the bullet on this, or if you could trade for one or two, or if you have one or two, this deck's a lot cheaper than you think. Uh, then we have Black Awakenings here for seven dollars. I'm not shocked. Rika's six dollars. Uh, signs four dollars actually, so even cheaper than I thought. Uh, they're cutting this card. I'm not shocked, but I told people this was a one of, and this will hit three dollars one day. It's three dollars, honestly. If you want to bite the bull and get for three dollars, not too bad. This is like one every second box too, you know. I don't see it shooting back up either. Uh, then we have glamours, two dollars. 
up starts dollar fifty. Judgments back at two dollars. I told people to get these. They're about a dollar. Uh, when I told you to get them, dollar dollar twenty five. Uh, they're basically twice that amount, and they're going to keep going up. Just give it a little time. However, I don't really like this version as much to play with, if I were to be honest with you. Then you have some of the Rika cards that were short print, dollar, dollar. I don't know why this this was so short print, because it's a new waifu deck, and it, it irritates me. Like, at least it's not like Dragon Maids, where it's like a little too pricey. Uh, then you have Dragite, dollar, probably the best card. One of the best secrets we've got in a while. Uh... And yeah, quarters on the Super Trap Tricks. Unexpected die. So the reason why this is a... Well, there's a $15 copy, then it hunts up to $20. Again, if you buy any card, use my affiliate. But honestly, please don't buy this card. Uh, I would rather just get you the commons. The reason this went up is because of Emancipators. Top deck profiles are using this card. Along with um, two commons, there's a combo with it. Uh, get get the commons honestly if you want if you have any spare supers just sell them it's free money. This card's gonna dip down to being maybe a three four dollar card eventually. I even it's the thing that also is like very funny. Uh, to me, I mean, it is good. Like it is a good play starter as well. So, you know, because if you control a rock, you special summon a normal rock. It's like a level four or whatever. You start special summoning all your researchers and all your you know. At Emancipators, and it also helps you go into Grand Knight a lot easier because you're sacrificing your shitty little level 4 and maybe one of your other spare level 4 rock monsters. And then you get Grand Knight, you search Nibiru, you search another Playmaker, and yeah, and Grand Knight's like 2300 on its own, so it's not too bad. Or you just go into Abyss Dweller, I don't know, go into whatever you want. But this card is really good. However, a little too much for a super rare. Harpy Harpist. Again, Harpy card is getting bought out because of the new Synchro, and it really irritates me. I, I don't like this deck. First edge, uh, $11, and then... Eh, 13 for Near Mint, honestly. A little too rich for my blood. I'm just going to see, because there is other printings of this. Wing Raiders Rare for $2. Honestly, again, if you have any spare copies of this, I would get rid of them, especially the Super Rares. Uh, Bujinki Amaterasu. So, speaking of really dumb Ghost Rares that got bought out, this is probably my one of my least favorite Ghost Rares, if not my least favorite. I can only think of one more off the top of my head that I really dislike. Uh, first set lightly played for $100. Near Mint $150. They're cheaper elsewhere. I've, I went over this on Master Swag King Entertainment's channel. I saw this at $250 and I flipped the fuck out. So, if you guys are wondering why I'm not having much of a reaction, that's because I already cried my heart out. <sighs> Here's what I'm going to tell you. I am willing to sell my copy or even give it away. Because not only is this my least favorite Ghost Rare, but this card as a first edge should not be worth more than $25. It really just shouldn't. This should be the, one of the cheapest Ghost Rares in existence. Uh, this this is not warranted at all. If you have any other copies, even if you're collecting them, honestly, I would just sell them. Like, ah, this is that's just dumb. Elemental Hero Dark Neos Ulti. Uh, again, hero buyouts. People get that stimulus check out of stock. I'm gonna refresh this very quickly here. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I get, wasn't showing up here. Lightly played, 190. Near Mint, 200. Then, quickly goes up. Not too many Near Mints. Uh, except for our boys' big city cards, which I actually do like ordering from them. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I ordered a Ghost Rare off them recently. And honestly, not only did it come out on time, but it was just such a nice... Good packaging, everything. It was just... Everything was perfect. And honestly... I, I order uh, Ghosters near Mint, not because of me not expecting there to be scratches, but just in case the light play is somewhere else other than the f cover of the card. Like, it's a little bit on the edges. I don't really like that, so I order near Mint. It may be a near Mint. It looks like a PSA, PSA 9, possibly. Possibly. When I got it, I was like, wow, I was very impressed. So, you know, if you want your old hero cards, boom. 
It's actually one of my favorites. It's up there. Destiny Hero Dasher. I want to show you guys this one. Because this is a very cheap older ulti. And you do use Dasher uh, in Destiny Heroes at times. Just not in like an engine. So you have Nirmits here for $10. And you have Lightly Played First Hits here for $10. Let me tell you. This is, this is literally free money. Like... I could see these easily hitting maybe 70, 80 in the future. $10? Not bad. How much is a near mint to these babies? Um, Here we go. $20. Still way cheaper than I thought it would be. Personally, light plays though for 10 That's half of this. If you, get it, if you want to get yourself a near mint, that's fine. Get yourself a light play... Or two as well. Literally free money. Sell it later. Use that money to get another old ulti that you want. So, honestly, I highly recommend this. So, with that being said, guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next Market Watch. Peace.